I think there might be something not quite right with your hearing, Professor. Perhaps you got water in your ears at the scientist's swimming gala? What? I think there may be a problem with my hearing. Maybe I got water in my ears at the science swimming gala. That triple front flip dive was awfully tricky, you know. It's not the only tricky thing around here. Alex's Hearing Help Desk. Professor? Professor Hallux? Do you want a cup of tea? No, I don't need to have a wee. Thanks for asking. It's a weird question. Cup of tea? Uppity? You're calling me uppity? Well, that's nice. Mm. Professor? Mm -hmm. Professor? Hang on. I said, do you want a cup of tea? Oh, yes. Love one. No need to shout. I think there might be something not quite right with your hearing, Professor. Perhaps you got water in your ears at the scientist's swimming gala? What? I think there may be a problem with my hearing. Maybe I got water in my ears at the science swimming gala. That triple front flip dive was awfully tricky, you know. It's not the only tricky thing around here. Ears are brilliantly fascinating, you know. Why don't you tell us all about them while I try to get this water out of my ears? Good idea. Well, ears are in charge of collecting sounds and sending them to your brain, which gives meaning to those sounds. So, if you hear your cat meow, your brain lets you know that the sound is a meow and not a dog's bark. And that's not all. Ears also help you keep your balance. So, if you bend over to pick up your cat, you won't fall down, or even worse, fall on your cat. Watch out for Fluffy. So how can your ears help you with your balance? Well, the inner ear helps you with your balance. In the inner ear, there's a part that tells you if your head moves up or down, and a part that tells you if your head moves around, to the front, back, left or right. Your brain knows to keep your eyes fixed on a point as your head moves, so you don't lose your balance. Wow, that's cool. Why do we need two ears? It can't be just to make sure sunglasses don't fall off. It has nothing to do with sunglasses, Professor. Your body is a finely tuned machine, and ears are designed to pick up sound from all around you. When you have hearing loss in one ear, it can be hard to hear some noises or know where they're coming from, whether behind you, in front of you or to your side. Having two ears allows you to know where a sound is coming from. It's something called localization. Like when you hear a siren coming closer from a certain direction, you know where it's coming from and to get out of the way. It's just not as comfortable being in noisy places without this ability. And quite simply, two ears let us hear more sounds, as many as four times more than with just one ear. And another reason why it's better having two ears is so we hear sounds around us better. If you've ever had a radio with a broken speaker, you'll know that even if you can still hear the music, it's not as loud or clear and can even sound a bit odd. This is the same for our ears. With two ears picking up sounds from our environment, you get an equal amount of sounds from the left and the right. Just like two heads are better than one, two ears are also better. That's right! Figuring out where sounds are coming from and reacting to them is something we learn as babies. Newborn babies move and their eyes get bigger when they hear a loud noise. Most loud sounds will make a baby move a little. This is known as the startle reflex. Well, I have given my head a really good shake, but neither of my ears, left or right, seems to be working right, nurse. Poor professor. Tell you what, I'll put the kettle on. You want to put a bet on? This is no time for gambling. Hmm, I think we may need to get your ears checked, professor. Get my deers decked out. I don't even have any deers. It's going to be a long week. Alex's Hearing Help Desk. Find out more about your ears and hearing at phonak.com.